Hello! Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be ruining people's lives because we're going to be playing with an airport. We're playing airport CEO. And, uh, well, you'll see why we're going to be ruining people's lives. Let's get into it. Because we want to ruin people's lives, we're going to go to the best place on Earth for that. Orlando. Our airport is going to be... Orlando Hellscape, and ticker is OHS. That is the best option. We're gonna go for a large map. You'll see why. Okay, so we end up with a completely empty area, as in many places you do. We're gonna get rid of nature. Okay, now it's time to start with runways. So normally, what you want to do is just put down a nice little grass runway, get a spot where planes get off the runway, and then you take them to a couple of, uh, what are these? Stands, or parking spots, as most normal people call them. We're going to be doing basically that, just uh, in a very large way. Okay, we're going to get the largest runway that we can buy, and we're going to place it all the way up at the top here. Basically all that we need is a control tower and then a way for the aircraft to get off onto and off of the runway. All right and then all the way down here in the bottom right corner this is where we're gonna have our aircraft stand. We're gonna have the taxiways meet up and then we're gonna go all the way down to our aircraft stand. And, of course, we have to tell the aircraft which way to go, because they're not the smartest bunch. Those pilot types. This is very inspirational music for what I'm about to do. Actually, you know, I think I can fit two stands over here. And then that way we can actually have a bit of an issue. Or a bit of fun, I suppose. Now that basically our, um, you know aircraft part of the airport is set up now we get to work on the terminal the place where the people go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put everything right into this room here okay so we're beginning to get our terminals set up and i've got a spot for subways taxis buses cars everybody able to be dropped off right in front of the airport and then what you have to do is you have to walk along the sidewalk, walk up to the top, and then around to the side, and then the back, and then all the way down, and you enter the airport through this one singular tiny little door. And then once you're through the door, then you have to make it through the maze of vending machines. Then you go all the way up here, where you go to your check-in desk, and then you come all the way back down here to go through all of security. Then, once you get to go through security, you're going to go down, and then you're going to go over, and then you're going to go all the way up, and then finally, you're going to get to your gate. And then, you're going to get on a bus. The bus is going to take wonderful back roads all the way down, again, and then back around the initial airport that you get into and then all the way over here finally and then because we need our airport to work we're just going to go ahead and hire everybody that we can everybody and i think we're just about ready to go let's go ahead open the airport and i think we're just about ready to sign our first contract which means that we're going to be able to start scheduling flights and there's not any yet so i think we're gonna need to sign some more contracts okay that should be all of them so let's see if we have any flights yet we do okay now we do have to set up our um everything so we'll get into that Okay, and after a little bit of finagling, uh, our 
terminals are finally open, so now we can actually schedule some flights. So let's schedule as many as we possibly can. Which is looking like it might just be about two. Ah, uh, no, we got some more. Don't worry. And also what we can do is automatically schedule it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And here are our first airplanes. And um, we've already got issues. I forgot to buy a stair truck. I'll, I, I, I forgot to buy pretty much everything. I need a uh, stair truck. I need so much stuff. Um, so let's get two of those. Two of those. And then I think... I think we should be good. Once we get all of that stuff, we've got a little bit of a traffic jam. Minor inconvenience, though. Don't worry about this one-lane service road. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen anyways? Everything shows up and nobody can actually get to where they need to go? That would be awful. See, there we go. We got the stair truck and a bus. We're good. We're good to go. We just need it, you know second stair truck to eventually show up okay so the flights were scheduled to leave in the morning and it's currently nighttime I don't think that's supposed to go that way these people look a little bit frustrated with something I don't know what that could be the aircraft stand is running late I can delay it or I can just tell it to go. Perfect. And away they go. I definitely should have made the taxiway a little bit more of a maze for them. Pilots totally enjoy mazes when it comes to airports. Okay, so what happens to the people? Do they just stay here forever? I don't really know. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, for some reason... People don't want to schedule our airline or schedule to fly out of here I don't know why I'm seeing a slight issue I think that we need more stair trucks we're just gonna get a couple and then while we're at it we can just get a couple more uh, shuttles as well just just a handful watching the people they go from over here and then they get in line all the way down here some of them cutting in line. How awful. Through the one security outlet that's open. Then they make their way all the way down. And all the way over. And then all the way up. All the way up. And then finally, as you're getting close to the terminal. Uh, you have to get your passport checked. And then you have absolutely nowhere to go from there. You have to stand in this nine square, tiny little cram packed area. And I know exactly what that area needs and I can provide it for them. All of the vending machines when they come in are food. So they're gonna need water. So let's put down a couple of uh, drink vending machines here. There we go. And then once they get through the terminal, then we're going to give them some more. Can I actually block this? I can. I can totally block that off completely. Let's not quite do that, but let's make it hard. Things are running surprisingly well. I haven't had, I mean, other than the first two planes, I haven't had any of them actually be late. Now I've got some people who aren't particularly happy. But there's nothing that I can do about that. It turns out that I managed to make a surprisingly functional airport. It's maybe not exactly the most pleasant experience, but that just kind of means that it's a perfectly normal airport, though. We have a slight issue of a traffic accident. It appears that our single lane service road has uh, caused a little bit of trouble, but it's okay because they can just go through each other and everything is perfectly fine So if you enjoyed this video uh, Let me know. I Hope you have a, a wonderful day 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode.